Hello guys and welcome again in a new video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can how you can use an old or how you can get back your data from a dead computer. So basically my computer crashed and I have the hard disk containing a lot of data which I would like to get back or to recover. So all what you will need to do you will need to open the screw which is with a with a special screwdriver on your computer so that you can get so that you can get so that you can sorry extract the hard disk which was already done I will suggest to you to use a pa white paper or an envelope to put it in and this is my hard disk now what we're gonna do we're gonna buy you or you need to buy an external box for the hard disk it should be uh, it's different from a hard disk to another so this one it's a SATA so I bought the one which is which is matching with it USB SATA adapter and usually the new computers are also SATA and this one also you can use it as you can see for SSD if you would like to use it for SSD if you have a modern computer with SSD so now what we're gonna do we're gonna plug or put this this my computer hard disk inside this box to make it external hard disk and to get to use my data on it or what you can do you can just put it in a new computer however it might not work you might need to install windows or some or drivers or or other things so now we're gonna open this box it's very easy to open and as you can see the hard disk should be in and there is a connector which I will show you how to do it let's go So this is the white box. You will find different model. You can choose the one with the color which you like. You can choose the one the there is a diff different type of brand, different type of prices. You can choose the one which you need. Usually the prices is are between eight dollar, six dollar, sorry, up to hundred of dollars. Um, nothing super fancy, nothing super luxury, but it depends on you how much you are ready to spend on it. So this one opens like this and there is different brand guys you can select the one which you like the most and now this is our external connector there is a little um, it should show a light when it is working so we're gonna connect it so as you can see this is the small side connector this is the big side we're gonna just follow the common sense so we'll reverse a bit no as you can see here it's like L so you need to make sure that you are plugging it correctly sorry you need to make sure that you're plugging it correctly so we're gonna just put them together and there we go there we go so now we're gonna check if it's going to work on my computer or not so we're gonna put it in this box as you can see and make sure that this is on the top because you will see if it is working or not it should show blue light or green light or red light depending on the type of of the one which you choose and we will close the box now our box is ready we're gonna bring a computer and we're gonna test it also please check before buying this box or any other type of box please check if it is compatible with your operating system uh, you can see it in the back it's operating system supported windows XP Vista 7, 8 and later, server 2003, 2008, 2012 and later, 32 and 64 bit version, which is very important, it depends on the architecture of your computer. Here you have operating system X, 10X and later, and Linux and 2.6.X and later. So now our computer is ready, our hard disk now is plugged as external. Now we're gonna check if it's going to work or not. Don't go anywhere, let us try. So now guys, we're gonna plug our hard disk to our computer with USB cable. So we're gonna do so and as you can see here, the blue, the light is, is blue. We're gonna just put it somewhere next to it. And as you can see here, I have my hard disk here with all my data protected and secured so now I can just use them 
I hope this video tutorial was useful to you guys. If you need help or assistance, you can always contact us on Facebook, Twitter, or sending us an email, or you can do it easy by putting hashtag question in the comment of the video, and we will answer to your question as soon as possible. Thanks for watching guys, and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.